Where's your tan? Okay, you're good. You're sunscreen. That's good. Where'd anybody else? Anybody go further in Hawaii? Baja. Ah. Where else? What's that? Oh. Baja, Hawaii. Oh. That sort of edge of Hawaii that just goes down that nobody knows about, right? Nobody went any further than Baja? Huh? Cayman Islands? Okay. Well, you're not going to interact, obviously, so it's going to be that's going to be that kind of a term, I guess, right? So my name is Kevin Ahern, and I'm that ugly guy over there, and um, I'm here to teach you biochemistry, BB350. How many people are jumping up and down with joy to be here? <coughs> Liars. How many people are worried about biochemistry? All right, that's, that's about that, yeah. So how many people heard stuff about biochemistry? Oh, yeah, shit, right? <laughs> so um, I'm very happy that you're here, um, and I'm very happy to teach this class. I enjoy teaching this class, and I find that I get to know uh, the students in, my cla in this class better than probably any of the other big classes that I teach. And so for me, that's a very, uh, very uh, positive thing and something that I really, um, I think is an important part of learning. I think the more that I can interact with you, uh, the more I can help you. And I really would like to do that. Um, I make myself as available as I possibly can. Uh, you'll see my office hours, so see the syllabus. Um, I don't keep office hours. And that doesn't mean I'm not in my office. It means that I'm always in my office. So if you look at my calendar and you click on that little button there, you'll see, you can see if I'm in a meeting or not. If I'm not in a meeting, I'm basically in my office. And you are welcome to come to my office anytime. If you want to schedule a meeting, you can schedule. Just send me an email. Uh, but you don't have to do that. All you have to do is just come if you want to come. So if I'm not in a meeting, I will be there. If I'm meeting with somebody else in my office, and you come and you stick your head around the door, just let me know you're one of my students. And if I'm not talking to another one of my students in this class, um, I'll squeeze you in. Okay? So you guys are my priority. I want you to feel free to come by. I want you to feel free to um, ask me questions. I want you to feel comfortable doing that. Okay? I think that's a very, very important thing. I think one of the messages that professors give to students that's a very bad one uh, on this campus is that they don't give a damn. And I do give a damn. And I want you to come, and I want you to not be a stranger. Okay? And this is a class where I literally could get to know every one of you by the end of the term. This has 107 students in it. Okay? The students that come to class, the students that come to my office, do better. The students that see that little camera over there and say, wow, man, he videotapes his lectures. He must really be either a ham, okay, which he is. All right? Or this is a class I don't have to come to because it's all going to be on the video. And I put that video there. You're going to see this class on the web. You're going to see this class streaming. Put it on your iPod. Put it on your iPhone. You can get see the videos. You can hear the audios. All right? And I expect you to come to class. There's a couple of students I've talked to that um, have some issues with that, and I've made arrangements with them, and I will make arrangements with them. But basically, I expect you to come to class. All right? So that video over there is to enhance your knowledge. That video is when, man, he talks too damn fast in class. I want to go back over it another time. It's right there. It's on the web. It's very easy to find. It's very easy to listen to. And you don't need any fancy equipment to do it. I want this to enhance your knowledge. Okay? Now, I say that up front because I videotape all my big classes. And my feeling is that you still should come to class. And I feel strongly enough about it that I will stop doing video if people don't come to class. So the video isn't here to keep you from coming to class. The video is here to keep you coming to class. All right? So we have a deal. You come to class, we do the video. You don't come to class, we're not going to have video. OK? That's important. Because when spring rolls around and it's 85 degrees outside, 
and it's a Friday afternoon, and I ain't going to Ahern's 4 o'clock class. No way it's going to be on video. Do you know what's going to happen on those days? We're going to have extra credit. We're going to have extra credit. Those who come to class are going to get it. And when those classes on those days fall in numbers, the video is going bye-bye. Okay? As long as you guys come, we'll have video. That's a deal. I promise you that. Okay? I also can't promise you the video works every time. Sometimes there's technical problems. Sometimes stupid guy forgets to turn on the camera. Not intentionally. I never do that intentionally, but I have been known to forget to push the little button that says record. Okay? If that happens and you're counting on that video because, man, it's Frisbee time outside, you're in trouble. Okay? You with me? Okay, so that's, that's ground rules number one. Ground rules number two. Call me Kevin, okay? Dr. Ahern is about as stuffing and as boring of a name as you could possibly give me, all right? I thought of changing my name to Dr. Asshole or something like that. <laughs> because that way, anybody that wanted to call me doctor had to call me Dr. Asshole, okay? Or you can call me Kevin, all right? Kevin's a lot easier, right? So, Kevin's my name. And Kevin's what I want you to call me. Okay? Clear as mud? Okay, so let's see. You guys really are a quiet group. I have to loosen you up here a little bit. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me say a few other things. So today, as you can probably guess, is a little relaxed. It's a little casual. And I want it to be that way. I want this to be a class where you feel comfortable, where you feel relaxed, where you feel like you can ask questions. I'm a guy that talks too fast. Okay? I don't mind somebody saying, do you mind slowing down? Or could you repeat that? Or, hey, wait, you just said this, and I'm a nutrition major, and this really relates to something I'm interested in. Could you tell me more about this? Yeah, I can do that. Okay? I can do all these things. But you've got to feel comfortable to, do, to, to, to ask me that or to say those things to me. I want you to do that. I want you to feel very comfortable doing that. Okay? That's important. Um, the uh, materials I have in the class are all, I don't provide a syllabus today. The syllabus is online. You can, do, oh, this is lovely. God, don't you, don't you love Microsoft? You know? <clears throat> I'm a Mac guy myself. And with good reason. That message being number one. Okay? Bill Gates makes too much money, in my opinion. All right. Now, um, all the class materials are on the web. I'll provide you with notes. I will provide you with figures. I will provide you with videos. I will provide you with audios. Okay? The syllabus is there, and the syllabus is required reading. Oh, the syllabus is not there. The syllabus is right there. Okay? Syllabus is required reading. Generally, I ask at least one question on the first exam directly from the syllabus. And it is required reading. Okay? So please read through the syllabus. It's going to say some of the things I'm saying here. Okay? Um, but it tells the ground rules of the course, and if you have any questions and so forth about that, let me know. Um, this is a challenging course. I'll be honest with you. It is a full term of biochemistry in one term. I teach uh, another uh, series course of biochemistry, Biochemistry 450 and 451. And basically, this course has slightly more material in it than those two courses together do. Now I've really scared you, right? Well, fortunately, we don't go into quite as much depth here. So we're, we keep it a little bit more up on top. All right? So we don't go into as much depth as there. But we do cover the field of biochemistry. And biochemistry is an exciting and fascinating field. And I hope that one of the things I do with you in this course is I communicate to you that excitement and that enthusiasm. Because biochemistry is at the root of everything that you want to do. If you're in nutrition, food science, botany, pre-vet, what have I missed? What's that? Chemi, what else? Fermentation science, what else? Pre-dental, pre general science major. Nutrition science, okay, interesting for pre-dental, okay. What else? All of these fields need biochemistry the molecular basis of life. Okay? That's what biochemistry is about. We are in the golden age of biochemistry. The golden age. Okay? What's a golden age, man? Okay? You're living in it. 
We're in the golden age of electronics and we're in the golden age of biochemistry. That is, those are extraordinary and exciting times. You can relate to the golden age of electronics by picking up your iPhone and turning it on. Yes, I love the iPhone, okay? I love living in that golden age of electronics, but you didn't know that you were in a golden age of biochemistry because you didn't have something that you could pick up and do with. Well, maybe you could. Maybe the fact that you can eat. Maybe the fact that there are medicines that keep you alive. Maybe there are all kinds of components out there that you took for granted, just like you took for granted. You don't know how to make a chip that went into this guy. You probably didn't know how that medicine was made that kept you, you or um, a, a loved one of yours alive, right? What I hope to do is I hope to open that door for you. I hope for you to be able to see the exciting component of biochemistry and learn why these things are so exciting and why I think this is a fascinating subject. And no, you don't have to be as enthused as I am. Okay? You really don't. You can hate the subject and still do well. <clears throat> I don't recommend it, but you can, you can do that. Okay? And by the way, you probably notice I'm a pacer. Okay? If you really want to see something funny, all right, take the videos and run it up to about three times normal speed. <laughs> Seriously. And you'll see me going, dee, 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 dee. It's, it's really cute. Okay? <laughs> I find that I'm pacing, and I don't even realize that I'm pacing. I'm just out here walking, right? Okay, now, let's see. What else uh, can I say? Biochemistry is a challenging subject. We go through it um, reasonably fast. And uh, this is a four-credit course, and because it's a four-credit course, I give you three midterms and one final exam. And the reason for doing that is because if I don't, each exam has so much material, you get overwhelmed. Don't want to have that. Another deal, you start thinking, oh, wow, by the final exam, there's going to be such a mountain of material for me to know, there is no way. Well, I understand that. I was a student once, believe it or not, back before the wheel was invented. Okay? I know how that feeling is, and so on the final exam, you get to bring in a note card that I give you, full of anything put on it that you want to put onto it. Pretty good deal. Each exam is not comprehensive. We finish the first exam, we go to the second exam. The final exam is comprehensive, but you've got a note card. OK? OK, now, if I could just get you guys to loosen up a little bit. Everybody up. Stand. Oh, it's late in the afternoon. Let's stretch. And one, and two, and nobody wants to. OK, sit. OK, enough silliness. What I'd like to learn is a little bit from you. And then I'm going to talk a little bit today. There's really not going to be much that I'm going to say today that you're going to be responsible for. And I'll, whatever you are responsible for, I'll put on the web. At the end of each lecture, I write a set of notes. And my notes are what I call highlights. And they're what I remembered as being the major points about what I talked about. I recommend looking at those highlights, OK? Uh, because I think that gives you a good focus for the kinds of things that I will be uh, looking for on my exams. When I go to write my exams, you know the first thing I do? I go to my highlights, and I look to say, oh, what did I talk about here? What did I talk about here? So the highlights, I think, give you a good outline for where uh, my head is in terms of this stuff. And of course, you can always come see me anytime. If you feel that you want a tutor or anything like that, I'm help you, happy to help you get a tutor um, at any time. Um, the night before the exam might be hard to get you one before the exam, but I'll even try that if that's, if that's an issue. Okay? So I want you to, to have a, uh, take advantage of whatever resources like that that, that, that might be able to provide to you. Okay. Um, so that's the sort of general layout of the course. I'll probably think about things, and I go, oh, I forgot to tell you that, so I'll uh, stop myself as I get talking and uh, backtrack and tell you something about that. But that's basically uh, what we're going to be doing in the course this term. Um, I do want to know a little bit about you, though. So when I say biochemistry, some of you, about, a lot of you were honest. You said, OK, this class kind of scared me. Okay? I'd just like you to just verbalize. Why does it scare you? What, what's